Hello everybody and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video, career mode 10%. I know, I know I need to make a, a freaking playlist. It's coming, alright? It's maybe maybe this weekend I'll have time to work on it, but normally what happens is I get off of work, I, I record about an hour's worth and it takes about two hours to edit. Fuck. But hey, it's it's worth it. It's worth it. I'm, I'm kind of like this daily upload thing about the career mode stuff. And, Anyway, so I made a little uh, list here for me on top of onto my, my little computer screen, but uh, it says show tech tree, tell them all mods under video. Okay, so I'll show the tech tree. Here's our tech tree. Moving on. Now the reason why I made myself a little thing right that right that says all mods under video is because I've been getting a lot of questions about what kind of mods I'm using. So I'm gonna start doing that from now on, just showing the tech tree as well as telling everybody all mods under video. And yes, today we will be hold wait a minute. Oh no. Oh shit. I was gonna say build an SSTO today, but we can only build a craft 30 parts and we definitely don't have enough money to upgrade that shit. okay let's see this is what i'm talking about there is there is no uh, uh auto strut it's rigid attachment on or off and that's it and i'm thinking it's because you have to upgrade a building and once you upgrade a building somewhere or something then it'll allow you for auto strut until then this is all you're stuck with Okay. Every time I hear somebody say auto strut, there is no auto strut. We're all out of auto struts. 2100. Okay. So this is going to be an SSTO. It will be. I promise. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and name this the XO2. Hmm. Now I can hear the collective questioning now in the audience. What the fuck is with this? Believe it or not, when you're following prograde, these don't generate that much drag. The drag is about uh, maybe out to here, maybe a little bit more. But it's it's not that it's significant. However, when you're going into the atmosphere, suddenly it becomes significant because the drag starts pulling on the back end of your spacecraft to a point where it can actually make your spacecraft stay in this position. It's really weird, and I think I know why. It's because the parachute is actually designed to create drag as well a lot of drag and that, that's meant of course for so that your capsule remains nose up on the way uh when you re-enter so you've got a little bit of drag on the nose but then you got a little bit of drag down here and so what ends up happening as long as your capsule can control the roll you stay kind of in this limbo of the drag pulling on the nose and the drag pulling back on the craft's butt and you just your belly your belly yeah very very naughty it's a, it's a, it's a Naughty re-entry. Ooh, this will give us some nice, some really nice cash. Okay, so I've selected Valentina for this mission because I'm trying to get everybody to get equal amount of experience over time. But unfortunately, neither Jebediah nor her can follow prograde. So I'm going to have to do this manual. This might not end well. I hope no one dies. In three, two, one, go. Okay, we have 196 meters per second left over. We are in orbit. This is going to be our first SSTO ever. Turn off SAS. Try to save some power. Both of them are good. Escape atmosphere, orbit carbon, we're good. Now here comes the tricky part, landing.
Okay, everyone, at this point, SAS is not on. It is maintaining a certain angle because of the girder segments that are down here creating drag. Okay, okay, okay. She's she is figuring out her and she okay, those okay. Oh man, it's ground as well. Oh no, this is not good, people. I'm thinking about ditching. If it was water, I, I would be okay, but it's not water. All right, deploying shoot. Oh, please. Fuck. Ho. Oh. Oh, I can't see shit. I can't see shit. Hey, oh, 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 here it goes, here it goes. Please don't die, please don't die. You lucky girl. <laughs> you know, I wonder some, there's been a couple of comments saying, uh, put flags in the bottom to make it look like it has a heat shield. I wonder if the heat shield, I'm um, not heat shield, well, if, if the flags could actually withstand re-entry heating because they're more of decals. I'm wondering, I don't know, if this would actually heat up and pop anyway. It's something that I want to test out later, but I'm going to have to download a, um, a heat shield tile looking, you know, flag. And we'll figure it out. It could, it could be something really cool. But until then, we're just going to stick with what we got. Jack7900 just subscribed. Welcome to the fold. Oh no, what I joined? Space Cop.
Oh, you're kidding me. I knew it. Right in the damn mountains. Ah, oh, all that science. There's no way. I'm not. I'm not doing it. If if I think, no. Well, maybe if she lands on somewhere flat, we might be able to collect the science. But I, I am ready. I am ready. She has got parachutes. I am ready for her to bail out. Uh, uh. Mm, nope. Okay. Nope. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. What? Well, off for curb and service. Oh. Okay. This. Is, oh man. That's a sheer cliff. Uh, as soon as she touches down, she's jumping. Or maybe, I don't, oh my gosh. Are we going to lose Valentina? Mm. Okay, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, fuck. And we only collected 1.8 science out of the whole damn thing. Well, all right, this is uh, this is gonna have to wait till tomorrow. But I actually really like this. This this is an SSTO, but it's it's like a fledgling SSTO. It it really can't do anything but get into space in one stage. But when it comes to landing, it's meh. It's definitely it's definitely meant to ma land in water. It's the the landing on land part we just haven't gotten there yet, and it's it's right at 30 parts, which is unfortunate because if I had a couple more parts, maybe I could make the landing, maybe I could make some landing legs or something, maybe spread it out a little bit. But well, there you go. Okay, so thank you so much for watching, everybody. It's an hour and 30 minutes now. I went 30 minutes over recording time, so this is going to take even longer. Hopefully, it'll be out by tomorrow. But anyway, uh, yeah cool uh next time we get this thing up here we'll do a bunch of observational science and try to get as much science as possible around the orbiter carbon but i just wish i could make these orange you know i mean black and white's fine i guess but uh if you liked what you saw please leave a like and if you love what you saw consider subscribing we also have a membership program cool little emojis and badges and stuff if you become a member and of course that worthless bell icon that i really don't think does anything but there you go Love you all, stay safe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.